today we are playing the ghost of tomorrow by Ed Leone. Hope I said that right. Woke up after a few minutes of sleep. I wonder what time it is. Ooh, this is crisp. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, this game is based on psychological horror, so I just decided to uh, play it. Can I actually swipe or? It's 9.30. Uh. Pardon? Uh, 11.30? Uh, alright, love you, Mom. Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, are you coming home next weekend? Amanda, I've been calling and texting you for two days, and you haven't answered. I haven't heard anything from you for days. Where are you? Are you okay? Please call me. So this was three days ago. No, I left a message four days ago. Oh, no, I'm tripping. I'm bugging out. Hold on. Uh, Five days, six, seven. It's been a week. It's been about a week. Can I respond now? Uh, can I grab anything else? Whoa, okay, that door opened pretty aggressively. Oh, where did I whip out of? Huh? Okay. What? It was just 11.30. Now it's saying it's 8.05. Yeah, 8.05. Just want to confirm. I don't want to be like an idiot on camera. It's not really much. Can't interact with everything, but... That's locked. That's locked. Still locked. I'll go back to my room, maybe? Mom, listen, everything's gonna be all right. So maybe I had to, I had to do something in here. Cause I heard the water dripping, but I don't know what it was. I hear it dripping. I heard a dripping nose and noise. I don't know. What's going on? Missing person, Amanda Graham. Last seen outside Har Harvey University on August 23rd, wearing a white tank top and jean shorts. Brown eyes, dark hair, 5'7", 120 pounds, age 24. Oh, my mother. That knife wasn't always out, right? <laughs> Let me run over here. All right. 
I don't know who's banging. It's not. So my mom put up that fly the 23rd. I mean, she could have waited a little bit longer. God, oh, that door is smacking so aggressively. reflection off like that's a, I could appreciate that that's something I appreciate there's like a song that keeps popping in my head that I just want to sing so badly god damn uh, god I hate Ugh. Whatever. What? Missing student body found stabbed by roommates. Body found in roommate's room. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through this. Amanda Graham, a 24-year-old master degree student who was missing since August 23rd, was found to be stabbed and killed. Amanda's roommate, 25-year-old Gail Rogers, was arrested, found Amanda's body in, the, in, the, in, the, in his bedroom, uh, majoring in film, shared apartment near Har Harvey University. Uh, my mother had texted, my mother had called the police. Uh, I was Gail's only friend. I knew something weird about Gail. He was involved. My baby's gone. Should have done something. And he was charged with murder and hiding the corpse. In the <laughs> oh! How did I not see that? All right, um, so I died. You're me, I'm you. <laughs> no, I'm about to go that way. Anyway. Don't be closer if you're closer. Uh, what are you doing? <sighs> okay, this room opened up. It's so dark. Do I want to go in these rooms? I don't like how those rooms open.
Wait, did they just close on me? I'm just heading in one of them. In loving memory. Okay, I guess I gotta restore to you. Hey, shit! God damn it. Alright. Uh, what is this? Uh, the trial, Gail Rogers. Also, exclusive interview with Miss Granham on the trial. The trial, Gail Rogers was murder. Me. The defendant, Gil Rogers, had pleaded not guilty to the murder charges and has claimed that the homicide of, of me was an act of self-defense. Here at the Silver Herald, we had an interview with the victim's mother to have share some thoughts on the trial. I am baffled that the only thing Gail ha can, can say after murdering my daughter is that it was an act of self-defense. My daughter is incapable of harming anyone in any way. If anything, it was probably the other way around. She was acting in self-defense from that monster. That coward hit the body of my daughter. My daughter told me about how Gail was carrying around that knife in his pocket all the time. That kid was probably thinking of using it on somebody. Express Miss Granham. Uh, my daughter had been acting straight for the past few days before this happened, said Miss Graham. I tried asking what was going on, but she kept insisting everything was all right. Uh, one day, she confessed to me that she felt something bad was going to happen to her. I asked her what was going to happen, but she didn't tell me. I told her to go see a therapist or something. If she couldn't tell me what was going on, at least she could have gone and seen a professional. Continue, Ms. Granham. As the interview went on, Ms. Granham indicated that her daughter had confessed to her that she was seeing things. I asked her what she meant by seeing things. She never explained and avoided the subject. I thought my daughter was developing schizophrenia or something. These disease ran in the family. Runs in the family. Her uncle had it. But now, after that monster killed my daughter, I knew he was the cause of my daughter's strange behaviors. He was probably tormenting her emotionally and mentally. Informed Ms. Granham at the end of the interview, Ms. Granham expressed she desires justice for her daughter. If found guilty, Ms. Rogers can ex Mr. Rogers can expect a sentence of 10 to 25 years in prison. Walking outdoors or I'm I, I have such shitty memory, hold on. No, we're not blocking outdoors. Or is it legit I gotta go through the right door? Cause I went through this one, I went through this one, that one. The one at the end, the one where it could be a possible jump scare? Straight ahead. Oh man.
notes. All right, wait, now I gotta. So I went through this one. I went through this one. I went through this one. Guilty in the murder of Anna Manker and uh, Amanda. Ooh. Uh, Gail was found guilty of first degree murder. Mord, murder. Uh, sentenced to 25 years in prison. Amanda, uh, Mr. Rogers testified that Amanda died uh, August 23rd around 11:15, but did not confirm that he murdered her. Instead, he he took her life in self-defense. One of the prosecutors, Silver Harold pressed and shared some information about the case. Police found a laptop in writing of Mr. Rogers that used it for evidence of the murder in the writings. Mr. Rogers talks about how he felt alienated by society and lonely, but Amanda was the only few people he enjoyed being around. He wrote about her a lot, including mentioning how he was in love with her to the point of obsession. After Amanda rejected him over his obsessive ways, he wrote about his anger and jealousy of her. This explains why he murdered her. He was a lonely outcast with mental and emotional problems who was angered by rejection. Martha Graham commented on the trial, I'm just glad justice is served for my daughter. After being asked what she would do with her life now, uh, Mr. Graham responded, I am not certain what the future lies ahead of me. Like I always told my daughter, life is set of doors that will lead you down different paths. But whatever path I find, Whatever path I find myself in is because of my choice. No fate will determine my path after having been through all this tragedy. I will choose a path of peace and happiness. Making it seem though is literally ju uh, just uh is that he did not I was like, wait, is that me reading? A lot of reading. Uh, time slip theory. Throughout history, people have reported experiences of time at a time slip. What is a time slip? A time slip is when a person or a group of people travel back and through some supernatural ways, not technological, like a time machine. Maybe even travel back in time accidentally. Why does this happen? Because time is not linear as we perceive it. Time is a fluid, not fixed, but exists within a context of a single point of space. In the year of 1996 in Liverpool, Frank was a cop and he was out on service while shopping with his wife. They decided to split up. Frank went to the record store and his wife went to Dylan's bookshop. As Frank walks towards the store, a small 1950s box van with the name Kaplan's on the side crossed in front of him while honking the horn. Frank then looked down to his feet and realized he was standing in the middle of the road. He then crossed the road and he saw the Dylan's bookstore, now had the Crips signage 
signage. The shop was selling women's purses and shoes instead of books. He looked around and Frank realized that the people around the streets were all dressed in the fashions from the 1950s. But bizarrely, a young woman walked past walked past him with a popular purse from the 90s, which reassured him that he was somewhat still in 1996. Frank followed the woman from into the store and the store turned back into a bookstore. She told him Frank she told him Frank she had she too had thought that the store was a clothes shop he did not only travel back in time he was standing right between 1950s and the 1996 it was later proven that Cripps and Kaplan were an actual local business from Liverpool during the 1950s these experiences are real and people may not believe it but that's how the universe works in mysterious mysterious and inexplicable ways however the truth the true cause of the time slips remain unknown. So, am I experiencing a time slip right No, well, I had experienced a time slip. walk straight but where am I going this is nothing oh never thank you for playing this unfinished alpha version of ghost of tomorrow this game will be updated periodically with new content only a few times since this game will probably not be too long updates might take a while since i'm a one-man developer damn really this probably should perfect the game and add any features this game was good this game was good i was stalling on this game because i wanted to play this game but i thought it was gonna be like super short so i didn't really uh pay much mind to it whoops 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 kicking clicking a bunch of things uh, I didn't really pay much mind to it, but uh, damn, that that game was good. This game was good. It was so good. <laughs> I had a, had a decent, had a good amount of jump scares and stuff like that, and you know, f I like it. Like I said, psychological horror is the best type of horror for me because it messes with you so badly, and it's incredible. But um. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this content. Uh, I'd love to provide you more of this game, actually, uh, and any other game. Uh, as long as you guys support the channel and let me know what you guys like, what you guys didn't like. And that's about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember, I just repeated this. Maybe I'm the ghost of tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys in the next video. Adios.